Lucy Letby, Facade, The Lawyer Friend. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The case involving Lucy Letby has proven instrumental in helping you understand what she is and why she killed, but also to understand other facets of the case in terms of how a Nazi prison, the fact that she is likely to have been committing offences in relation to babies for a longer period of time, and also provides us with an opportunity to understand why some girl, to such understanding, the fact that her child held a documentary, she would never believe the nurse was guilty of murder, following the serial killer's conviction. Accordingly, a jury, having heard ten months' worth of evidence, has sat and deliberated, and as a consequence of the evidence that they have heard, has reached the conclusion that Lucy Letby is guilty of murder and guilty of attempted murder. Notwithstanding this, Dawn Howe, who was a pupil with Lettlestone School, school in Hereford, explained to BBC's Panorama that she would only believe Letby was responsible for the murder of seven babies and the attempted murder of six others if she confessed to the crimes. Howe said she did not believe her kind, gentle, soft friend was capable of murdering babies. Unless Lucy turned around and said, I'm guilty, I will never believe that she's guilty. We know she couldn't have done anything that she's accused of, so without a doubt, we stand by her, she said. When asked ahead of Letby's sentencing last Monday whether she stood by her remarks, how told the Daily Telegraph, I stand by that statement. Now, is Dawn Howe mad? Is she an unbalanced individual? that simply won't accept a conviction? Well, there's no evidence to suggest that she is. But why is it that she will not accept the guilt of her friend? Well, of course, this is because she has been presented with a facade by Lucy Letby. Certain narcissists often fall out with people they're known for being trouble. They're known for having fractious personal relationships with rows that spill into the street. The neighbours go, oh, they're at it again. The individual is known for getting into fights at the local bar, known for being in out of work. These are invariably lesser narcissists that don't operate with a facade and are seen as troublesome individuals. Their need for control in the moment and a low threshold on their ignited fury combined with a absence of facade and rudimentary manipulations invariably means that their go-to manipulations are verbal violence, physical violence, sexual violence, destruction of property, the exhibition of heated fury through argumentativeness and insult. And in the circumstances, they are very clearly seen as problematic. Such an individual, therefore, who is convicted of a crime, many people would say, well, it was always going to happen. They're a wrongan, they're a badan. Yes, they're well known in the town for this, for that. It was only a matter of time before they did something more serious. But not all narcissists are like that. Those of you who have extensively digested my work know that there are different categorizations of narcissists. And narcissists like Lucy Letby operate a facade whereby to friends, to family, to colleagues, to neighbours, to the world at large, they will present a facade. Sometimes that facade is very good indeed, and no cracks or very few are seen. In other instances, the facade might be intermittent, flashing on and off like a misfiring strip light. In other instances, some people get the facade all of the times and it stays intact with others, perhaps, for instance, one friend, or maybe one neighbour, or maybe some members of the family, see cracks in the facade more often. As I've explained to you previously, I form the view that Lucy Letby's parents will have seen repeated cracks in the facade because I am of the firm view that behind closed doors she exhibited a different type of behaviour to them. But to her friends, towards her colleagues, aside from those that occasionally saw an air of superiority and haughtiness from her, everybody else thought that she was kind, 
Many people thought she was caring, compassionate, diligent, enthusiastic, a Mary Poppins type of individual. And Dawn Howe is somebody who was part of this facade. Letby has manipulated her as well, but has done so with kindness, by being gentle towards her friend, by being fun, by being considerate. Her facade management has kept the more malign behaviours that Letby engages in hidden. Accordingly, all How ever witnesses is somebody who is kind and gentle and soft. She hasn't hit How. She hasn't murdered How. She hasn't stolen from How. She hasn't tried to run off with How's boyfriend. Instead, her narcissism, because how largely will have not have threatened her control, means that she's treated well. Many people who are in the facade don't tend to threaten the control of the narcissist, meaning they stay painted white, and therefore it's easy for the facade to remain intact. Furthermore, those individuals in the facade are invariably not always spending a lot of time with the narcissist, which means they're less likely to present a problem. If you're not around the narcissist all of the time, you're far less likely to threaten control. This is why I think with Letby's parents, she will have exhibited a different side towards them, because they've had a far greater level of interaction with one another, and at least one of her parents is a narcissist, which will have led to some clashes. Thus, How has only ever experienced the facade, and therefore, understandably, she cannot reconcile the fact that she's got this friend who's always been kind, a friend who's always been gentle, who's shown a softness, and then has been accused of killing babies. It really doesn't stack up. So she isn't being idiotic in this refusal to accept the conviction. It simply doesn't match with what she has witnessed herself. And therefore, she would think to herself, those jurors don't know my friend. I do. I've known her for years. We grew up together. But what How fails to understand is that when you're dealing with a narcissist, the narcissist will show you where you're a member of the facade, a particular viewpoint, whereby you're far less likely, if at all, to be on the receiving end of devaluing behaviours, and if you are, they're not very extensive, and they're just corrective devaluations. And therefore, the narcissist is able to use this facade against other people. So, although this isn't the case with Letby, if there was an intimate partner primary source who'd been abused, who then went to members of the facade and said, X has been making my life hell, those members of the facade are, are you sure? They've always been all right with me. They've always treated me well. Are you sure you're not overreacting? Perhaps it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. And that victim finds it often very difficult to persuade other people of the narcissist abuse because it simply does not fit with what everybody else in the facade has seen of the narcissist. And it's the same for how She has only ever seen the good side of let be and therefore cannot understand how anybody could suggest that she would be involved in the murder of babies. But were she to start to understand more about narcissism, she may well then start to realise, ah, I've only seen a particular side of her, whereby she could always manage me, control me with kindness. In a documentary, how travelled around Hereford City Centre, showing where she and Letby would go for meals together as teenagers. She said Letby was bubbly, loves a cocktail and the fun of getting dressed up and going out with friends. Letby's adopted rescue cats were her whole world. How added, all of this contributes to this empathic outlook. Part of the facade. I grew up with Lucy, she said, and not a single thing I've ever seen or witnessed of Lucy would let me for a moment believe she's capable of the things she's accused of. It is the most out-of-character accusation that you could ever put against Lucy, she said. Think of your most kind, gentle, soft friend, and think that they're being accused of harming babies. She is the kindest person that I've ever known. Hatter said police were trying to build a case to find someone culpable, to find someone to blame. It came as footage emerged from September the 3rd, 2009, of Letby and Howe on an evening out, which they called a night of terror. It showed the pair staggering down the street, drunk and knocking on doors. Six years later, 
Letby murdered her first child. A world apart from having a few shandies and knocking on people's doors when they're drunk. But it demonstrates how the fact that she has a facade, it creates a loyal friend. This isn't a friend who thinks, I know she's done it, but I'm going to be loyal and tell the world that she hasn't. This friend has been completely and understandably taken in by the presentation of a facade, something that many narcissists do. And those that are higher echelon are very good at maintaining a particular facade to the outside world. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.